Hi guys, uh, welcome to the SEIB Insurance Brokers Back to Basics with me, Alex. And uh, this is episode one. And for today's episode, I thought we'd do some cube work. This is a great way to uh, get the horses uh, nice and straight and work on suppleness. I've used this technique for many, many years with the show jumpers. And all you need is four rustic poles. Uh, I think four poles rustic are probably, is probably the best way to go. Uh, that way, if they're not painted, they don't chip them all up and it probably just saves the poles a little bit more. But these are 10 foot poles and you just put them end to end. So literally like that to form a square and just squeeze them in. There we go. And uh, they can go in an indoor school like we have here or an outdoor arena. They can even go on the grass. I generally find that the smaller the area, the better. You don't want it in a vast area. You want to keep it nice and compact. It just makes it a little bit harder for you as the rider and a little bit harder for the horse to work a little bit trickier. So the best thing to do, what we do, what I do, is we give each pole a number. So this could be number one. This could be number two. This could be number three. And this could be number four. If you want, you can mark them. You could get a piece of chalk and you could just write the number on. Sometimes that's easier, especially when you're first starting to do this, because once you get going, you do forget the numbers. And that's the tricky bit. So we've got one, two, three, and four. And as always with, uh, you know, any trot pole, whether it be a single or a collection, the best thing to be is nice and straight and make sure as a rider you look up and you look forwards. Okay, so just picking up where we were before. So we've got our cube, we've got our four poles at 10 foot each, and they're all butted up to form the square. And as we previously said, number one, number two, three, and four, you can mark them. I think that's a good thing to do. One, two, three, four, just to keep it nice and fresh in your mind. So the main thing, this is not the biggest indoor school, which actually for this exercise is really, really good. It, you don't want too much space because it just, I think if it's too much space, it just makes the exercise too complicated. It just, you know, it, a smaller space works well for this exercise. So you're on your horse, whether I think really you should start in walk and uh, just bring the horse around, start on the right rein, just bringing it around. And it's all about getting that nice turn, that nice sweep into the first pole. So we're going to go for number one to start with. So walking, 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 and we can show you this later, but get a nice sweep, come in, you always want, with show jumping, whether it be a fence or a pole, always be nice and straight at the fence or the pole, at least a couple of strides away from that particular point. So before the pole, before the fence, nice and straight before two strides away from that pole. So coming round, nice and straight, get that nice arc round, and in you come into number one. Make sure you've got a nice contact, you've got soft elbows, Make sure you look forward. Conveniently, we have A right in front of us and we've got the mirror up there so we can give ourselves a little way and make sure we're looking cute as we do it. Very important, of course. So looking up, nice and straight, come round, over one. So in over one. And for this exercise, we're gonna go out over number two. So in over one, out over two. And then as we were straight coming into the fence, at least two strides, you must stay straight after the exit, at least two strides out. So out over two, stay straight, and then you can either go left or right. So if we had a rider here, which we will shortly, we're gonna to say to the rider, okay, come in. So you're gonna come in on the right rein, in over one, out over two, and then turn left. So I will be your virtual riding instructor slash rider and horse. We're not going to do it in trot because that would be embarrassing. <laughs> but we're going to walk around. So getting a nice arc coming in, nice and straight, getting that nice turn as you would for show jumping between hand and leg. Keep hold of the reins, soft elbows allowing. Look forward, so in over one. Sometimes as you enter the cube, the horses can wobble. You know, they can go side to side or they don't know, you know, they don't know where you want them to go. So make it nice and clear. Nice and straight, look where you want them to go, and out over number two, stay straight, and then we said turn left, so that's that way, give yourself a wave, and then off you go. 
and then back on your circle. So you've got a continuous circle round the cube. Now that might sound really easy, and in all intents and purposes, it might be for some people. But we're starting from scratch, back to basics, as in the title, and I think this is a great place to start. So you're getting a nice circle around the cube, you're getting on a nice approach, nice turn, getting a nice bend from the horse, then straightness over the pole, straightness through the cube, straightness away and after the last pole, and then back on your circle. Okay, so we've got our rider. We've got Summer, my 14-year-old niece, and our pony, Bobby, who's seven. And uh, you've been picked as a guinea pig. Well done, poor you. So uh, what we're going to do, Summer, is we're going to come round, as we've already previously discussed with her. So one, two, yeah, three, four. So what I want you to do is in over one, out over two, and then turn left. So as we said in the last bit of the video, it's all about straightness, getting a nice turn, looking up, keeping the horse nice and straight in front of the fence, at least two strides, looking up, keeping that leg on, allowing the horse forward with your hands, nice and straight afterwards, and then turning left. The heaviest part of your body is your head. So if you turn your head left or turn it right, depending on what way you want to look, that kind of almost like an indicator to the horse, just to say, I'm turning left. So if you're coming over here, you want to start looking left way before you turn. So you're here, look left. And that's just giving the horse a little indication what way you want to turn, okay? Right, let's try again. So walk on. So you're going to go in over one, out over two, and then we'll turn right. So I will stand here to make sure you're nice and straight. So start looking at fence, or well, fence one, but pole one. I say fence one because you know you, it's the same exercise it would use for show jumping. So nice and straight, look up. Allow the hands forwards through the elbow, nice and straight. Did you look right? No. no. So let's go again. So where or when do you need to start looking left or right, depending? Correct. Right, so let's try that again. So walking on. So keep the fingers nice and closed around the reins, nice and tight. It's the elbows that allow the softness. So start looking, carry the hands. Great, nice bend in the elbows to allow them forwards. Looking straight. Now look left. Nice and straight though. Use your hand and leg and then turn. Good. Give them a big pat. Well done. Excellent job. Thank you. What we will do in future episodes is do it in trot, and then we will move up to canter. Blimey, <laughs> we can do it. And just to show you how sort of it comes at you so fast, and you have to work and really focus to get that correct. But we will be covering that in future episodes.